So you can add yourself if you want. And then on agenda, we have a um, new release of Kuma with, um, with a fix that I don't remember what was the fix. Um, right, it was backwards compatibility, like the upgrade wasn't fully smooth. This one. Yeah, and we introduced this problem in 2.4, so we fixed this uh, quite quickly. And that's it. And Wukash, do you want to do a demo? Yes, I can do the demo. Mm, I prepared a bit of my environment. Okay. So, yes. So in 2.4, uh, we introduced the uh, TLS certification for the Prometheus. So you can now uh, protect your endpoint with the metric by the TLS and Prometheus can verify the certificate. This is correct. It's not uh, verifying uh, the, it's not the MTLS, it's just TLS. So in the configuration, and there is a, in the new release, there is this secure metrics with TLS that explain how you can do this. And to do this, you need to enable provided TLS mode for the mesh and define the paths for certificates during the startup of the Kuma DP. So we can try to set up it now. So let's start Kuma CP. Uh, I'm going to run it only in standard on, on uh, Universal. So let's start. Let's generate certificate uh, token. Uh, let's start the application. I created already certificates before. So I have the paths for certificates. One is for the P, other is for the certificate. And here we just configure it like normally. There is no change in the startup of the uh, Kuma DP. Uh, okay, one moment. I think. Uh, okay, token. And here is buff. Okay, so we're starting the Kuma DP. And let's start Prometheus. In the Prometheus, we need to point to the uh, uh, to the certificate in the configuration. So here I have the configuration of a scraper. And there's a TLS config that points to my CA. So this is the Kuma is the config. And the server is the uh, MAT server that Kuma exposed with the Kuma DPs uh, that you can you know you can discover what uh, services are available to scrape. Uh, so let's start the Prometheus. Okay, so we have Prometheus running. We have Kuma DP running with certificates and uh, Kuma CP. So let's try to go to the UI. Okay, so here we should see that. Oh, ah, uh, there's one more thing that I forgot that we need to introduce the mesh change that enables this feature. So we have the mesh that has the TLS mode provided TLS and expose the metrics on 5670. Uh, so now let's uh, apply this. OK. OK, so we should enable it. OK, we have the listener. So let's try now. OK, so we have Kuma, DP, Kuma data planes. We can see that we have metrics endpoint that is HTTPS. So when we enter it, we see that it's a TLS. And when we do the Prometheus, for example, here we can see the envoy metrics that are scraped from my app. So that's it. How did you generate certificates? Mm, I created with OpenSSL the certificate. So first I created some self-signed uh, CA 
and then based on this C uh, certificate signing request, then sign with this CA. I have somewhere probably the instruction how the, with the steps I've done it. Uh, but I've added the a common name to my IP address and the sub alternative names pointing to IP of my IP address. Because Prometheus, uh, when the certificate doesn't have the uh, sum, it uh, fails because uh, the common name is the deprecated. It, it's, it doesn't work. So it needs the alt subject alternative names configured. Right, because usually you put the DNS name in subject uh, alternative name, right? When you like do TLS, but here Prometheus is using the, the actual IP address. Yes. So we need to have this IP address because this is what Prometheus expects. Okay, nice. Uh, one more question. Can we do this on Kubernetes? Mm, probably it's more difficult because the uh, you need to generate the certificate with the IP address. It maybe you could do this, but I feel like it's more complicated. For universal, it's quite simple. Yeah. Also, yeah. because you need to start Kuma sidecar, so you need to probably create the container patch that includes the certificate if you generate it, or you have maybe some uh, other container that's gonna share with the Kuma sidecar container, because you need to, pro to provide the certificate for the sidecar. Right, and I think we have an instruction for this, right? This container yes. patch. I've added I think, an instruction yeah. for container patch. Yeah, I think the main difficulty is um, to have proper IP address of pod in the cert, right? Yes. Unless you have some kind of infra for your certs already. So like, I'm mm -hmm. not sure if it's even worth to keep this um, Doc here, mm, maybe the yeah the Kubernetes version is more difficult. Mm. You could probably think maybe in the future with the new policy how to make it better. Yeah, maybe. Uh, more questions around this. Okay, not really. Thanks for the demo. Um, any more questions? Doesn't seem like it. So it looks like we can wrap this up. Thanks. Yeah. Bye.